Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, I briefly mentioned a foreign AI's encounter with an unauthorized party, a mysterious species far too intelligent at that point in time to be from the Milky Way, given that this was hundreds, possibly even thousands of years prior to the modern Halo universe. This unidentified species have been given a temporary name of the Meddlers by a friend of mine, and this is by no means the first time they've been mentioned in Halo's lore. There are traces of these Meddlers in so many different obscure corners of Halo, from terminals to novels to manuals to multiplayer maps. So today we are going to talk about the Meddlers, who they might be because I saw a fair few people in the comments of the last video discussing this, and also every single time they've been mentioned across the entirety of Halo's lore, dating all the way back to 2001. Huge thank you to Chris for all of the help with this video. Honestly, it would not have been possible without him, so please go and drop him a follow on Twitter and also check out Halopedia, which is the Halo wiki that he curates. It is, without a doubt, the best source of Halo knowledge. Okay, so one important thing to keep in mind about the meddlers throughout this video is that the term meddlers more than likely does not refer to one single species. Instead, consider it to be more of a sort of blanket term that just applies to all unidentified species that have interfered in the Halo's Milky Way at some point. So just bear that in mind throughout this video. Right, so let's start off by looking at all of the encounters they've had in Halo's Milky Way. Because to understand who they might be, we first have to understand what exactly they've done and when exactly they did it. So, the first is easily the most well-known. It's a terminal from Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary that's kind of amassed a cult following over the past seven years because purely the mystery of it is just insane. The terminal shows Guilty Spark investigating a vessel containing sentient beings that crash-landed on Alpha Halo. This ship was later expanded on by Catalog, and apparently its hull pattern resembles the designs of seven other species, but it never said which species. It does look kind of like an ancient human ship to me, ever so slightly, but there's really no way to be sure. During his investigation, Guilty Spark detects the gases that are being released from the ship actually match those of his Halo, and that maybe the species on board were once catalogued on Insulation 04. But what's weird is that the only other thing coming from the ship was an automated distress call. Now, given that Guilty Spark said the ship is a short-range ship, and thus it's likely that there are more nearby, maybe the distress call was trying to contact the species' other ships for rescue. Or, perhaps the species, these meddlers, were running from something. I doubt it, honestly, but given the flood music that's used in this terminal, I can't help but wonder. This encounter, however, did give Guilty Spark hope for the next visitors to his beloved Halo. The next encounter is also an Alpha Halo, and also involves Guilty Spark. It's extremely brief, and there's not too much to say about it, but it's worth mentioning anyways. It comes from Conversations from the Universe, which was a small booklet included in the Halo 2 Limited Edition that basically contained exactly what you'd expect, letters and notes from characters in the Halo universe. In Spark's notes, he talks about the Covenant landing on the ring, and that they're exploring and meddling and all that stuff, but also that he's seen it all before. They'll record what they see, and they'll leave. This insinuates that other unidentified species have landed on Alpha Halo before and explored it before leaving. This species that came before the Covenant, however, may have caused Spark some pain, as it turns out that the next time he was able to scan a ship, the Pillar of Autumn, he threatened it to leave the ring, a pretty sharp contrast to the hope that he felt for future visitors after the first encounter with that crashed ship on his Halo. Something definitely went wrong with this species. These meddlers have also left footprints on Delta Halo 2, the multiplayer map Backwash, the map with a notably floody aura to it. This, however, is not a coincidence, as you'd imagine. The map is a flood containment facility that's hidden away in a swamp, located such to discourage potential intruders and mask the horrors stored beneath it. However, data that was gathered when the location was converted into a War Games map for Spartan training notes that the defensive measures weren't all too successful. The reason that the map is laden with flood fog and that the distant screams of flood can be heard in the background is because either a system malfunction or outside meddling broke containment and freed the parasite, which later led to the creation of the Gravemind. So I guess this is worth noting as well, could this map possibly be located on the surface above cold storage? 
I mean, considering this construct is located on the surface above a flood containment facility that led to the creation of the Grave Mind, it seems to me like the two could very much be linked. Just some food for thought. This next encounter is quite a while in the past, and it's from the book Broken Circle, which essentially is a story about warring elites and prophets in the early days of the Covenant. In the novel, one of the elite warriors, who went by the name of Cracker, talks about a battle that he fought in much earlier in his life. In this battle, Cracker was on board a ship in a system on the far side of the galaxy, the System of Miasmic Giants. It was in this dark corner of the galaxy where his ship was attacked by an unidentified species, one that didn't speak a language any of them could recognise, an attack that left him as the only survivor. That's all he mentions, but it seems that these meddlers weren't exactly too friendly. The Halo Reach map, Solitary, also has traces of these unidentified meddlers too. The map is a foreigner detention centre, used to store convicts of any species who violated the Ecumene's law and order. Pretty fitting, considering it's a remake of Prisoner from Halo Combat Evolved. However, the facility didn't exactly manage to do its job all too well, considering that in the map's description, it's noted that the damage caused to the interior of the prison only hints at the terrifying power of its previous inhabitant. This inhabitant could have been a foreigner, or it could have been something else entirely, but whatever it was, must have been pretty formidable to break out of a facility suspended above nothing but ice, surrounded by multiple defensive spires. If it was a meddler, it's definitely not one that you want to fuck with. Another map that has traces of the unidentified is Wreckage from Halo 4, a map that's set in a part of the Maginot Line, nope, not the one from World War II, a defensive perimeter that was set up by the foreigners to defend their core worlds within the Orion Complex from the Flood in the later days of the war. On the map is a crashed UNSC frigate, a crashed Covenant Lich, and behind it, another crashed ship of unidentified origin. Now, this could very easily just be another Covenant ship that we've not seen yet. So this one is a little bit loose, but I figured it was worth mentioning anyway. Considering the installation was literally created to shoot down foreign ships, it could always be the wreckage of an unknown species who unknowingly wandered into its range. And finally, we have two occurrences that sort of back each other up. The first is a passage from Halo Salentium, the third book in the Foreigner trilogy. Catalog, which was essentially a collective of Foreigner judicial agents that stored and indexed data, that is the short, short description, said that the librarian had studied and favoured 123 different technologically capable species that were sentient across three million worlds in the galaxy as part of a conservation measure to ensure that life would continue after the Halos were fired. Now, the only technologically capable species that we've encountered so far are the humans, elites, brutes, prophets, jackals, hunters, drones, engineers, and the Yonhet. That leaves a further possible 114 sentient species out there yet to be discovered, and to me, that just equals another 114 possible meddling species. That said though, Catalog wasn't sure if all of these species were indexed and stored for reseeding, but honestly, I have no reason to doubt that a majority of them probably were. This was further backed up in a cannon fodder, where Grimm replied to a fan question about there being other sentient beings in the Milky Way. He said that the short answer is yes, the foreigners indexed and reseeded plenty of sentient species, but that a majority of them likely still haven't even reached the pre-industrial age yet. That said though, there are likely more that we simply haven't met. The galaxy is a really fucking big place after all, so that does make sense. He also mentioned that there are plenty of other species in the Covenant that were never allowed by the Prophets to fight, and thus were never encountered by the UNSC, the Covenant Fringe, as they're now called. Okay, so now that we've looked at every single footprint left by the meddlers, we can start to speculate about who these species might be. And when I say speculating, trust me, I mean it. This is some very, very heavy, near baseless speculation that I just figured would be fun to do. So, without a doubt, the most common suggestion that I had on the last video was that these meddlers could be the precursors. So, where's the evidence? Well, for one, a small number of precursors did flee the Milky Way galaxy when the foreigners turned on them and started to wipe them out. These precursors were never seen again, as far as we know, and at least they're assumed to have survived. So there's nothing to say that some instances of meddling in the Halo universe couldn't have hypothetically been the precursors. 
Maybe whatever broke out of the foreigner prison in solitary was a precursor, given the foreboding description the map gave us of said prisoner. I'm not saying that I think these meddlers are precursors, all I'm saying is that we know that precursors can essentially shapeshift and that the species are transcendent, extremely strong and hyper intelligent, so they're capable of doing almost anything they want. With that in mind, I think it's fair to say that breaking out of a prison isn't exactly the hardest task for them. The second suggestion is that some of these meddlers could be foreigners. Now, not all foreigners were killed at the end of the war with the Flood. Some left the galaxy to start new lives away from the damage their species caused, with intentions to never return, and to leave the galaxy to be reseeded and free from foreigner intervention. That said, intentions can change over time, and perhaps some of them returned to see how the galaxy was doing, to check up on things, and ended up getting caught in battle with ancient elites, or crash landing on one of their deadly creations. Who knows? And finally, the more likely option, in my opinion, is that most of these meddling species are simply just other species from other galaxies that have never been encountered by anything in our galaxy before. Maybe they're venturing out of their own galaxy to investigate other star systems, or maybe they plan to spread into our galaxy. It's honestly impossible to tell, but given the number of potential species out there in the universe and how big the universe is, I think it's safe to say that the odds favour this option more than the other two. Alrighty, that's it. All instances of meddling by foreign species, and also a little bit of baseless speculation as to the identity of a few of them, because why not? Fingers crossed you enjoyed this one. Once again, I want to say a big thank you to Chris for all of the help with this video. If you did enjoy the video, then don't forget that liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment helps me out a ton. Major thank you to everybody supporting me over on Patreon, Tomahawk, Momo, Shikata, Mjolnir, Matthew, Pierre, Tony, Theo, Michael, Resnek, Joshua, Mecca, Ashton, Jack Madden, Eric Brown, Sam Grafton, Bruin98, Hayden Woods, Matthew Brown, Gareth Davies, Renegade Ginger, Fwimmy Goat, Sergeant Swords, Zach Youngwood, Eric Hagler, and Snake M4A1. Am I headcasing or is that an MGS reference? Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.